What's up, freaks? It's Steve from Peak Physique Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing, your weight loss experts. Weight loss experts, fat loss experts, and on Steve Says, we are your mindset, your motivation, your inspiration, your personal development experts. Not just the, not just the body. If you don't have your head together first, it's useless what you do in your body. This is Steve Says, episode number 63. Pulling you up on the second screen here if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, suggestions, let me know. We got a sound check going on. Let's do this. This is episode number 63. And as you can see in the comments, it says right there in the comments that confidence is bullshit. Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me there on this broadcast. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a hell yeah. Give me a fuck yeah. Give me something. Let's see if, if you can hear me. And it sounds like we have good sound. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, as we're going, put them right in there. Let's talk about it. You can see this is episode number 63. If confidence is bullshit, basically, if you are, are you lacking in this key ingredient to living life on your own freaking terms? Are you? And you know, in Steve says, some people hate, but most people can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. It's episode 63. And the questions I'm going to ask you today is, is your past holding you back from going forward or moving forward? Are you barely just skating by and coasting in the present? And are you unsure about yourself and your future self of where you're going in the future? We're going to answer those questions today in Steve Says, where we talk about how confidence is bullshit. But first, you know, Steve Says is a live show, a live weekly show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, and your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. Let's do this. It's all about adapting, overcoming, becoming a better version of yourself, getting your shit together, trusting the process, and of course, having no excuses. Let's let's talk about, we're going to talk about confidence today. That is our key word of the day, and you hear it all the time, and you know that when it comes, we, we usually take different, different phrases or different words or different kind of the different words you hear out there on, on those motivational little scripts that you see all over Instagram or whatever. Those, I don't even know what they call them. But they, you have that picture with like some words and a line or whatever about you need to have confidence, live with confidence and all this and all those motivational things. So we take those kind of things from the, the self-help motivational guru world And we talk about what it really means in the real fucking world for real people like you, just like you. Because all that lying bullshit is just a picture. That shit is fake, all right? So we like to peak freakicize shit, and today we're going to peak freakicize confidence and your confidence. Now, obviously, okay, you need to have confidence. We know that. You need to operate with confidence. You need to live with confidence. Have confidence in yourself. Be confident, confident, confident. We see it all the time. It's it's like a, a, a cool... Cool word, trigger word, a self-help word, a a personal development word, whatever you want to call it. Now, confidence is not easy, but is it possible for everyone? Sure it is. And no matter your background or, or where you're from or where you're at or where you're headed, it's still possible for anyone. So let's break down confidence. What are some other words for confidence? What are some other meanings of confidence? Like assurance, maybe courage or tenacity. Poise, spirit, certainty, also pretty much having full trust and belief in your powers or in any powers of anything and trustworthiness or a reliability of the, the reliability of, of a person or of something, of a service, of anything. Belief in oneself and one's power or ability, self-confidence, self-reliance, self-assurance. You've heard it all before. Confidence, confidence, confidence. And I am, again, all that stuff we just talked about is just words on a paper. Just like last week, we talked about how all that visualization that you're told to do and picture yourself in the future, picture yourself successful, set goals and have structure and schedule out your day and qualify this 
and plan for that is all fucking useless if you don't take action. So today we're talking about confidence and what's real, what's not. And we already said a picture of a fucking lion on Instagram is not real. Some fancy little sayings and quotes on Instagram, although sure you could think, okay, that's pretty cool, is not really confidence. So what's the peak freak definition of confidence? And to me, confidence is not walking around and even, you know, having money or being in shape or thinking that you're the shit or thinking that's all bullshit. That is all. We're going to get to that stuff later, the false confidence stuff later. But the real, my version of what, what, what I, why I feel confident in any, any area of life that I go into, and it wasn't always this way, and I'm going to go into that also in a second, is I truly believe, and I think confidence, a peak freak definition of confidence is truly believing that you will figure things out, that everything will be fine. Just being yourself. And that's, that's, that's freedom. That is fucking freedom. That, that means freedom to me more, almost more than confidence. That, you don't have to worry about anything. Really, also not giving a fuck. Not giving a fuck. You're just being yourself. You know everything's going to be fine. No matter what, you know that you will figure it out. That's fucking real confidence. And that's, all, again, obviously it's in your head. You know everything, almost everything starts in your freaking head. But just saying walk you know, standing tall and all this other shit and flashing your jewelry on Instagram, that's not fucking confidence. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Confidence is believing that you're going to figure things out. And I'll use that all the time. And that's how you learn. That's how you learn and grow and evolve and get become successful in any area of life, fitness, business, in school, in any athletics, with your family, your own, if you own your own business or just in your job, doesn't matter. Confidence is just believing that you're going to figure things out. Having a true belief It doesn't matter what comes my way. I'm going to be fucking fine. I'm going to figure this shit out. No matter what comes. I don't even know what's going to come, but I know whatever comes, I'm always going to figure it out. I'm just going to figure it out. And that's, that's, that's why I always say I have everything under control. That's a a saying my, my parents would always try to tell me stuff. And from younger, especially now, oh, this and that, about all this other stuff, try to worry you and stress you and, and, and run fucking circles around your head and run you mad. I'll just say I got everything under control. It could be a whirlwind, tornado, fucking storm, craziness, mayhem, end of the fucking world, and guess what? Everything's going to be fine. I'll figure this shit out. I'll figure this out. I have confidence in myself to figure it out. I'll figure it out. I got everything under control. Everything under control? There's fucking zombies running around the street. All the buildings are on fire. It's the end of the world. It's the apocalypse. It is the apocalypse. I got everything under control. No problem. This shit's going to be smooth, smooth as a motherfucker, because you need to believe in yourself. And how do you get, you get to that level by building up that armor, that armor of other, all that stuff that probably happened in your life when you're a kid. And I'm going to go into this stuff in a second. I'm going to share with you something you probably never knew about me. I'm going to share some deep, dark secrets with you in a second, some deep, dark secrets in just a few minutes. So you don't want to miss that. Something probably, I don't think I've ever said anywhere ever in my life about myself. I'm going to share with you in just a few minutes. So we'll get to that. So confidence is believing that you're always going to figure things out, is knowing that it's just going to be fine. I have everything under control. Staying smooth and calm. No matter what, no matter what the fuck's going on around you, that is confidence. Being yourself and just not giving a fuck. Not giving a fuck. It's a freedom. And that's why I say in the beginning of Steve Says, some people will hate, but most can relate. And I'm confident in just being authentic and being fucking real and being myself that the people that will hate, okay, that's fine. They, don't have, they can hate on whatever me, the way I talk, the way I operate, but I guarantee most people can relate because this is some real shit in the real fucking world. So, of course, confidence also when it comes down to it, and most things in life come down to this, is just not being a little bitch. Just don't be a little bitch. Confidence simply is not being a little bitch. And that along with discipline, you know, it, a lot, this is with discipline is the prerequisite for confidence. That's the foundation of confidence, not being a little bitch, having some discipline, the discipline to stand strong, hold the fucking line, no matter what's going on, no matter how crazy shit gets, believing in yourself that you're going to figure it out. You've been through enough and you know you're going to work automatically to figure that shit out. And you have everything under control and really not giving a fuck what other people think about the way that you need to keep things under control. 
because you know you're doing the right thing. You know you're going towards the, the, the straight path towards success with your confidence. That's real confidence. That is real confidence. Now, the foundations of confidence, the deep roots of confidence, you know where it comes from? It comes usually, at least for me, and I'm sure for you too, it comes from knowing what rock bottom is, knowing what the bottom of the bottom of the fucking barrel is. That's where real true confidence and real true armor, life armor, entrepreneurial armor, fitness armor. That's where it comes from. Knowing what rock bottom is, knowing what the bottom of the barrel is. Like, what do you have to fear after you've already been at the bottom of the barrel? You have, what do you have to? What do you have to fear? What do you have to worry about? You could be confident in anything once you step out of that zone. Once you. Get past that zone. What else could stop you? What else could, could damage you? What else could slow you down? What else could strike you in your tracks? Nothing. But being vulnerable is confidence. Because what else can you say to me? What else can you do to me? I've talked about it before. I call it the eight mile theory. My eight mile theory. You saw in the movie Eight Mile with Eminem. The end of the movie. They have their little rap battle off thing or whatever. He chooses to go first. All he does is says everything he knows this other guy all the shit he knows this other other guy was going to talk about him he says it himself so now the other there's nothing left for anyone to say i just put it all out on the line so what the fuck can you do to me you can't stop me you can't do anything to slow me down i just put it out there i made myself vulnerable and that vulnerability gives you confidence because there's nothing left for anyone to take me nothing left for anyone to do to freaking stop you or to hurt you or to damage you you know we wear two different shoes Because what else could someone say to me? I'm already wearing two different shoes. I'm going to live life on my own terms. That's confidence. Living life the way you want to live. Wear two motherfucking different shoes if you want to. What can you possibly do to me? Now, my lack of confidence. How did it happen? Don't know. Probably from just being in a fucked up childhood. Don't even know. But I know I wore a Zorro mask. A black Zorro mask from the ages of at least two to five. Anytime I was out in public. Thinking that that was going to hide the world from who I was. Talk about a lack of confidence because I was just a fucking loser, little piece of shit is what I thought of myself at that time. I wore a, wouldn't step out of the house without a Zorro mask on. Then I would go I would just hang out by myself all day, play by myself all day. I even played baseball, a 9-inning baseball game one time. 9 innings it lasted like I don't even know like 2 hours, like literally pitch by pitch a 9-inning baseball game by myself with a fucking tennis ball against the side of the house. That was my friend, the side of the house, for like a two and a half hour, nine inning, pitch by pitch, strike by fucking strike, baseball game. I set up my own rules, the way it bounced, the way it flew, the way it went, what would count as an out, what would count as a strike, a ball, a nine inning fucking game. By myself, as my only friend being a fucking house. That's where the confidence came from, from just being down there, being in that dark place, and being able to come out of that, that's fucking confidence. Knowing what the bottom of the barrel is. And that is what creates confidence. Here's the big secret that probably... I've, I, well, first, you know I wear glasses, right? I went from the first grade. I didn't get contact lenses until the 11th grade. So I saw nothing until the 11th grade. Zero. My eyesight is blind as a motherfucker. I don't see shit. Nothing at all. I wouldn't know who you were standing three feet in front of me without contact lenses in. And I was that blind all the way from school. They knew I needed glasses. I got glasses when I was four years old. But for whatever, this lack of confidence and obviously lack of self-esteem, self-image, and all this other stuff, I didn't wear glasses until the 11th grade when I had contact lens. I was like, holy shit, this is what the world looks like. Never knew what the world fucking looked like. Was blind my entire life, just winging it through school, causing trouble, starting fights and all this other shit just to not have to answer what was on the chalkboard. I don't want to answer what's on the chalkboard. Leave me alone. Go to someone else before you piss me off. And the teacher's like, there's something wrong with that kid. He's fucked up. I'm going to leave him alone and just go on to the next person. And they did. And somehow I went. I had the back seat. They would rearrange your seats in elementary school. Sometimes every quarter or half of the year, like you have your name the first day of school. That first day of school is the most stressful day of school because I didn't know where my seat was going to be. If it was in the front, I might be able to squint or see something. I would, if I was in the back row, I would have to pretend I needed to get something up front to go sharpen my pencil. And hopefully the pencil sharpener was not in the back of the room. I found a reason to have to go up there to kind of peek at get an idea of what was on the board so I could sort of get the answers. That's lack of fucking confidence. That's lack of fucking confidence. That's that's some fucked up shit. Then, at least until the first grade, maybe even second grade, not sure if I've ever mentioned this ever out loud in words, but I was still pissing the fucking bed 
until I don't even know why. Probably just so miserable with myself and so much lack of confidence. I think at least first grade, probably even second grade. I don't think any late. I really don't remember. But I know it was pretty fucking late. It was past kindergarten. I know that. And at least first grade. I was young for that grade, but whatever. Then that just went to the next level as you get older. And there was no confidence, even as an adult. Confidence in elevators, confidence at weddings, at, at, at public places, events. Zero confidence speaking in front of audiences. Speaking in front of groups. Doing a live video like this. Zero confidence. But eventually, I, you know, I, because I realized I was never taught anything. I was never taught anything about anything. I had to fucking learn everything and figure everything out for myself. And once I realized, you know what? I always am just fine afterwards. I always fucking figure it out by myself. My brain always figures it out. Automatically, you're tracking and, and, the, and the laser guided missile hits the fucking target. And then that's when you start, I started becoming confident. You go through that shift and you're like, bam, I know what the fucking bottom is. I know what no confidence is. So it's easy to become confident when you know what no confidence is. So what to, what, what, what not to do and the do, your, your do not do list are just as important as your to-do list. You have a to-do list every day. You should have a do not do list every day. And when it comes to confidence, your do not do list is the most important and it is not being a but not being afraid of fear. You're afraid because you're afraid of nothing else except the fear, which fear is fucking fake, and you're afraid of it. it. Doesn't even exist. Fear does not exist. You create fear in your fucking head, and you're only afraid. So the only thing you need to be afraid of is that fear that's holding you back. The second you get past that and realize it's in your fucking head, you have nothing ever to be afraid of, nothing to ever give a fuck about. And nothing not being afraid of failure. So you, you, your confidence, you'll lower down your confidence and lower your level and hide in the back of fucking room because you're afraid of failure. Fuck that. Go fail. Somewhere I read, I don't remember where it was. Somewhere it said, fail fast and fail hard. The harder you fail, the faster you fail, the better. I don't remember where it was, but it was something to that effect. And it makes total sense. That's how you get fucking confidence. Sounds crazy, but that's the way shit works. By getting over it, by, by fear, and by hitting rock bottom, and by failing. That's how you get confident. Oh, how about this one? Not being afraid of hard motherfucking work. Don't be afraid of hard work. Also, don't be afraid of success. Success is nowadays frowned upon. So our confidence, we don't want to be too confident because we'll just look too successful and we'll think people will just think you're an asshole, right? Fuck that. That's not being an asshole. That's called busting your ass, working hard and earning whatever you have. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of fucking hard work. Don't be afraid of making other people look bad. Oh, I don't want to go too hard because I'll make everyone else look bad. Fuck that. They could either keep up or could get fucking stomped. Stomp a mud hole in their ass. Do what you got to do. So the steps to build confidence are, it's, it's, it's simple. We already kind of t- mentioned it all, but obviously everything we always talk about, almost everything we talk about, Steve says, requires freaking discipline. And you notice a common theme in all aspects of success and happiness and domination. And it's, it's the same across the board. It's having discipline. It's everywhere. Discipline is everywhere. Discipline will lead to success. Discipline will lead to confidence. Discipline will lead to happiness. Discipline will lead to your fucking domination. Also, having structure and preparation, practice, training, having systems and processes for everything. That is all confidence. If you could structure things the right way, and we know from last week, you can't just structure and prepare without taking action. And action is practice and training and implementing and creating systems and processes for everything you do and then implementing them and putting them into action. That's how you get confidence. When you know all your bases are covered, that's why you always know whatever fucking comes at you from 360 degrees, you are fucking ready because you have the discipline, you have structure, you've prepared, you've practiced, you've fucking trained, you've set up a system and a game plan and secondary and tertiary game plans for fucking everything. You've thought of uh, every situation and cover the bases on all that shit. That is confidence. That's the next level of confidence. That's how you keep increasing your confidence and keep building the confidence. Those are the steps to confidence. So first is knowing what the bottom of the barrel is. Obviously, we, we, we went over that pretty hard. Then is just not giving a fuck, believing in yourself that you can figure things out, that you know everything's gonna be fine. So you don't have to worry about anything, having the freedom to just not give a fuck and not being a little bit, having the discipline. And then that discipline 
is going to lead. So discipline is always the discipline is the fucking mother of everything. Discipline's like the mother of the world is going to lead to that. So there's discipline and your confidence down here. That discipline's going to lead to having structure. Then that structure, everything, everything lined, all the ducks lined up, is going to lead to you having preparation for whatever the hell it is you're working on. Then you're going to practice the hell out of it and perfect it. You're going to be training to learn new things, practicing things you already know, creating systems and process for every fucking aspect of your battle. And then you have confidence. So also a huge one for confidence is just putting yourself around good people. And don't be afraid to lean on them and for them to support you. But also don't be afraid to reach out your hand and help them out also when they need it. Of course, having a goal and a vision. We know that from just last week, two weeks ago, whenever there was, taking steps every day towards them. That is confidence. Knowing that, okay, today I am one fucking step closer to this goal and to this vision than I was yesterday. Now, what about false confidence? Talk about some false confidence. What is false confidence? Now, this is the fun stuff. This is the fun stuff, you Instagramming motherfuckers. False ass. You, the Instagram is, is fun. It's like entertainment. Instagram is really more entertainment, seeing the, 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 the loser-ish bullshit motherfuckers out there. Like, with their money the, the, and their Facebook. They got Facebook money and Facebook success and Facebook friends and fucking who knows gold fucking teeth and, and, and some Lamborghinis that they're standing next to that was parked in the valet parking while they were walking by the fucking club or some shit. Who knows what? How about some... There's just no truth in it. There's no truth in it. There, confidence... If confidence to you is how many likes I got on a, on, a, on a Facebook post or how many comments I had or just, I'm just so approval seeking. I need to know those approvals. So anything I do, my eyeballs are like these beady ass motherfucking eyeballs like a, like a rat and a frog had a, had a baby and your eyeballs are just bugged out, beady, looking all over the fucking place for a, seeking approval from anyone you can get it from. Anything you put on Facebook, you're refreshing and refreshing every 10 fucking seconds and I get a like, oh my God, I got a like, I got a like. I have this endorphin rush and now I'm gonna feel so good about myself for about 10 seconds with this fake false false sense of security and false sense of confidence and then guess what that only lasts until the next now wait a minute i refreshed it there's not another like there's no like since the last like oh my god there's no like let me refresh it again let me refresh that motherfucker again did i get any more likes did i get oh they got a comment i got a comment oh wait a minute that's not a good comment that's true that just says awesome or it says cool it's not a good enough comment for me why is that not a good comment oh my god this is horrible now i get another comment oh this is the coolest thing i've seen all day oh i feel so good the endorphins are back up and the only last two seconds, I hit refresh again and nothing else comes up. Wait a minute. Why are there no more comments? Why are there no more likes? I need my confidence. I need to be a fake fucking Instagram and Facebook and motherfucker. Who's holds their confidence over how many friends they have, how many followers they have. Let me tell you, of course, in a, in, in a way, of course, you use that stuff for business. That's fine. But followers and friends and face and on Facebook and all that shit does not equal success, does not equal confidence. That is not confident because you have a bunch of fucking followers. That makes you confident because you got a like hundred likes on your picture. A couple people post f- fucking commented on your thing. You got happy birthday posts from 172 people. Oh my God, I am the shit. Even though I don't know 99% of those people and two of them are my mother and my, and my and the fucking mailman. Stop with the fake, the fake false confidence. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. That shit ain't a good look. Give that shit up. So that's just insecurity and, you know, hiding behind a fucking computer. Get in the real world. Hiding by creating some fake facade of success or you think you hit some big goal. And now, the, now you think you hit a goal. So that's the finish line. Let me go tell the fucking world. I went to the gym today and worked out one fucking time. Let me tell the world. Let's have a fucking party. I worked out. That ain't the finish line. Every goal that you achieve is just a starting point to your next goal. So that false self confidence that, oh my God, I completed this. There's no completion. Completion is fucking death. Don't get complacent. Don't get, don't, don't let your self-limiting beliefs think that make, tell yourself that you have this, you're just like an influencer. Like you're just who face the social media and the world and all those people you don't even fucking know. And you're not making a dime off of, you're not using it for any business. You're not enriching anyone's lives off of that shit, but you need the followers. It ain't doing shit for you. It's false confidence. It's false sense of security. And it's just you holding yourself back in your own head with your own beliefs that that means something. Built on just poor values and poor fucking morals. Like talking, talking about how great you are on, on, on social media all the time. Listen, 
Listen to this. If you have to tell the world how great you are, I was going to say it like this. If you were so great, you wouldn't always have to tell the world how fucking great you are. Get it? You get it? You wouldn't have to fucking tell the world how great you were if you were so damn great. Because you'd be too busy out there being fucking awesome, being great, doing shit for other people, making an impact on other people's lives. So once you create that confidence, yes, you create confidence. You, it's not built into you. You need to manufacture confidence. You need to create it. And I'm talking about real confidence. When you actually create it through these steps that we said, you need to bring it to freaking life. Other people are going to try and diminish your confidence and they're going to try and diminish your success. We already know that. And those people, to those people, all I have to say is one of these, two of these. Get out of the way or get squished, squished like a fucking grape. How about that? Because you're going to, the, the, once you get past that barrier, you're a rock bottom. Everyone's your pal. Everyone's your pal. Then you're like, you know what? I can handle anything. I've been to the fucking bottom. It's time to do this. It's time to take my life to the next level. And bam, you're like, I'm a confident motherfucker. I don't give a fuck anything. I'm going to make shit happen. I'm going to do something with myself. I'm going to become successful. I'm going to be a leader instead of a fucking follower. And guess what? They try to drag you down and diminish you and, and crush your confidence. Fuck them. Fuck them. So once you create that confidence, nothing can slow you down. Nothing can defeat you. Nothing can hurt you. You can march to the beat of your own fucking drum because you've been there. You've been through the wars. You've been through the battles. And you know that no matter what comes your way, no matter how horrible, no matter how fucking drastic, whatever comes your way, you will figure it out. That is the true, true essence of confidence is just knowing no matter what, you're going to figure it out and make it happen. So now you, you can now operate to fucking dominate. O-D, operate to dominate. Confidence equals discipline plus preparation plus practice. Get your head up, your shoulders back and down, your fucking chest out, suck in your stomach, stand tall. Have, have faith that you are going to take care of shit and you're going to figure it out. That you got everything under control, keeping shit smooth. That is confidence. Stand tall. Shoulders back, chest out. Don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. Don't be sorry for who the fuck you are. And don't be afraid of who the fuck you're about to become. That is confidence. That is the peak freakicized definition of confidence. And no one ever told me this my entire life, which is probably why I lacked confidence for so freaking long. So I am telling you this. No one ever told me this. And this is the key. We've done a, I've done a whole show on this before. Just by this one phrase to give you that confidence. You have my permission to be fucking confident because you are fucking awesome. You're allowed to be confident. You have a duty and obligation to the world. You have a duty and obligation to your kids or your grandkids or your family, your neighbors, your coworkers, anyone around your fucking circle. You have a duty and obligation to yourself to be fucking awesome with confidence and discipline. So yell it out right now. I am a confident motherfucker. I am fucking awesome. Yell it. I don't care where you are. Scream it out loud right now. I don't care where you are at work. You should yell out. Wake those motherfuckers up around you in those cubicles. They need it. They need some of this shit in their life. What else is there in this world but action and energy and enthusiasm? No action, no energy, no enthusiasm. You're fucking done. You're dead. You're in the ground. You are fucking awesome. Operate to dominate. Have some real confidence. No excuses.